so hi friends uh, so far uh, you learned on how to execute the foreign currency valuation so uh, our valuation area is IF and which is actually we created and when you are running using the valuation area you can see um, the here so this is where the method valuation method so uh, how this valuation method is configured and what kind of options we have under the valuation method yeah so I'm going to explain this uh, on what changes when you do what is going to happen here so this is how I'm going to explain in this video so here uh, to go how to go to the valuation method settings in the SPRO so when you go to the SPRO and you need to go to the SPRO financial accounting general ledger periodic processing I will go from the beginning maybe it's quite easier after you go to SPRO financial accounting general ledger periodic processing valuate and valuation methods so here under the valuation method we already created so valuation method with exchange rate type M9 so when you go to these options you can see so I'm going to uh, explain here so we always give always value it yeah there is options also lowest value and strict lowest value principle and also always uh, value and revalue so when these will applicable when you have already valuation already in place so in our case I always choose the always value it so now I click save so this actually the valuation method I created and uh, this valuation method will be a link to evaluation area so you can see my valuation area is IF which is TR00 so if you want to do the valuation in the additional currencies also it can be done and um, using the company code currency itself and but uh, in our case I am only focusing on one currency here to do the valuation so now I go back and uh, here uh, check the accounting principle to the ledger group so we have the ledger groups here so in the case of our um, ledger groups we already maintained uh, here this accounting principle where it is linked to which ledger so I have a, a gap and also the local gap and IAS ledger so all these are already mapped so in the case of here you are assigning account prince accounting principle to the ledger group and assigning evaluation area which is IF is to my IAS so this is where I am assigning my in IAS valuation accounting principle to this group so now after that then you can do the valuation so now what is the key here what changes if you do and what system is going to do huh? so when I go here so we use always evaluate so when you do currently we already done using this option here so the system normally do the valuation when you do this the system is showing these are the what what I already explained in my previous video so now let's say you change the settings so you change the settings post per line item what does it mean the post per line item uh, when you check this box and save and go back and now you try to execute the valuation it's nothing happened here but what is happening here so the postings will change so I will explain one more time uh, here I will uncheck this box and show you the postings I remove uh, then 
go back and click on execute so the same postings but you see the difference so it is posting a summarized values so in the case of uh, here you see 1439.18 so here 1.39 this is all this data is summarized and posting the valuation gain or loss based on this account determination which is maintained in the back end uh, for the account determination so how these postings are happening when you do the valuation 145 how this posting is happening how this is debiting and how this is crediting will be under account determination which i am going to explain also yeah so here uh, you can see this is where uh, the posting the debit or credit will happen but if you see here and it is a summarized value posting so now if i change this option to the post per line item and click save now i need to go back and then if i run again and check the posting so you see here so this is where um, the system is uh, posting by line by line yeah so you can see from which document and how much the gain or loss it is posting by line by line so maybe and uh, if you see here and um, you can see so this is you, you may be having a doubt how, how come this is a, a different posting which is 73 it is posting and it is splitting this one here so you can see here so this is a 73 which is a posting also by the system okay so hope you understand the settings this is a one option and another one a group vendors so when i click this option so here when when you check the group vendor so when i go back and execute when i include a evaluation group so it is updating 1001 which is a vendor and and here so it, it the system is automatically will update uh, the vendor if you choose a group so this is pu purely depends on what you are maintaining in the vendor master data so actually i maintain the vendor master data there is a grouping key so for 10004 i maintained and also 1002 i maintain but in the case of customer i, I don't maintain anything so it's showing a blank here so this is where um, the system is automatically updating the valuation group when i'm changing the options here okay so um, this is where but uh, sometimes if it is more than 999 lines then the system will split the document into the different uh, parts like uh, uh, with the, some clearing account so the exchange rate uh, type from the account balance will be determined and here the exchange rate type from the invoice reference will be determined so you can set usually we use uh, from the account balance here so now click save so this is a valuation method we created so when you go to the time dependency so there is some options here with the so if you are changing the, any of the valuation methods uh, here you can maintain the effective date from when to when and 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 on all these uh, the term is applicable from which date to which date so all these uh, can be maintained zero to zero so let's say my valuation is is always a monthly and uh, so exchange rate type determination uh, for the credit and debit i leave this blank so so you can you can you can define you can decide let's say for the effect from which date you want it to be applicable this this valuation method then the system will automatically uh, use uh, the valid from date 
as the, the particular date. So this is purely depends on um, your local uh, requirements and if there is any change, you can create a new valuation method and, and uh, always value it principle is applicable uh, from let's say you are changing your mind to lowest principle. So the lowest principle is applicable 0 to 1 click OK so then yeah you can change the method with effect from uh, January to, to which is uh, always valued and uh, with effect from uh, January 2021 strictly lowest value principle and uh, from the next month, next year, which is 2022, maybe the revalue. So it's always depends on how you want uh, uh, your, your local um, accounting principle and policies, then uh, you can decide these um, procedures to be called by the system automatically. You know? So when you're running the foreign currency valuation, okay. So now um, in the next session, I am going to explain more about the valuation area, which I showed here also. And uh, thank you.